If you are here to see something unique, amazing and unbelievable from China when it comes to super engineering, then this video is for you. So brace yourself to see some of the most unique and unbelievable latest mega engineering projects you can only find in China. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And if you are new here, click the subscribe button and get notified so that you don't miss any of our great contents. And so without further ado, here we go. Number one is houses built like pyramids go viral in China. Welcome to the modern pyramid state. It's not ancient Egypt but a city in eastern China. A pyramid styled house complex was built in China's eastern Jiangsu province. With a spacious balcony on each apartment, residents have found it difficult to cook inside the kitchen because vent hoods cannot be installed in the flat. All apartments come with a spacious balcony. The floors are stacked and connected like Lego blocks forming a pyramid shape. Number 2 is Eccentric Chinese Bridge Becomes a Tourist Hit The Ruya Bridge in the Xinxianju Scenic Area in eastern China's Taizhou City has recently become an internet hit. Spanning 100 meters across the Xinxianju Valley, the bridge is more than 140 meters high and is shaped like a jade rui, an ornamental scepter traditionally symbolizing power and good fortune in China. The structure composed of three adulating bridges with a part of its deck made of transparent glass has drawn hundreds of thousands of visitors since it opened in 2020. Number 3 is Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway starts full line operation. The last stretch of the Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway was opened, marking the full line operation of the Intercity Railway, a key project for the coordinated development of Beijing Tianjin Hebei region, a state level new area of strategic importance. The newly opened section from the Dashing Airport to Xiong'an, a stretch of 59 kilometers has four stops and will cut the journey time between the two points in 19 minutes. Number 4 is Beijing 2022 vision is taking shape. China's preparation for 2022 Winter Olympic Games remained on track despite COVID-19 pandemic, which greatly impacted sports across the world. Beijing 2022 pledged to fulfill its commitment at 500-day countdown to the Games. National Speed Skating Oval, as known as Ice Ribbon, is the only major urban facility built for Beijing 2022. Number 5 is Construction of Nuclear Power Unit Starts in East China.
the construction of Walong One nuclear power unit, the first one of its kind in China's Yangtze River Delta area, started in Wenzhou city of East China's Zhejiang province. The project is expected to have a great impetus to promote clean energy supply in the area. Huang Wan is China's indigenous third-generation nuclear reactor technology with completely independent intellectual property rights. Number 6 is Construction of new high-speed railway in full swing in central China. Construction of a new high-speed railway is in full swing in Hunan, central China, as it is scheduled to open to traffic later this year. The line has a total length of 246 kilometers, with a designed maximum speed of 350 kph. It is expected to cut the travel time between Walhua and Zhang Jiajie from 3.5 hours to 1 hour. Number 7 is New Waste to Energy Plant put into use in China's Xinjiang. A waste to energy plant has been put into operation in Urumqi, capital of northwest China's Xinjiang. It is Xinjiang's first mega waste to energy plant. A waste to energy plant combusts waste to produce electricity. The plant is expected to treat 1.6 million tons of garbage each year. The power generated will reduce standard coal consumption by 500,000 tons annually. Number 8 is Water Diversion Bridge with V-shaped tower joints in central China. The two sides of the south to north water diversion bridge in Jiangzhou City, central China's Henan province were joined. The bridge has 32 pairs of state cables and a 34.5 meter wide deck. Its cable tower in a unique separated double limb V-shape is the first of its kind in China. And that's all there is to it for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.